hello beautiful people like share and subscribe um so yesterday which was the 17th uh the court overturned the election of uh, the nnpp governorship candidate and uh, said that the apc uh, gave apc victory you understand so uh with that being said um, i can tell you for sure that tinibo has completed his state capture of nigeria the judiciary, the army, the navy, everything now is under Tinibu, especially the judiciary. It's, it's, it's like an ending scenario. Uh, going back uh, before the election, I remember how Kwan Kwaso was misbehaving. You know, so proud of a man, talking, always talking rubbish. He even called the obedience Andrew Liversort. You understand? I can tell you that Kwan Kwaso career is ended. In fact, when the election was lost, Kwan Kwaso was trying to lobby with Tinibu to see how uh, he would uh, become a minister. I don't know what happened. They did him abracadabra in that one, you know. So later on now, you can see the whole uh, situation that happened. Kwan Kwaso's career is almost finished. They kicked him out of the party and now his uh, candidate which when they immediately enter started demolition and demolition like crazy set of people you know now you know it looks like the end of the road because they want they want to go to supreme court and i'm telling you it's a waste of time apc has won that election it's not Ganwabi, whatever his name is i don't even want to mention their name because i don't think they deserve mention because it's a bunch of criminals after the apc um, um you know governor because for me they have removed the kano governor that mpp guy they have removed him after they did their charade started calling on god that's what used to pay me after these people commit this evil and criminality they start calling on god calling on god for what you all of you are calling god's name in vain you understand the, i mean the apc guy this uh ganju dollar ganju dollar that was saying life putting dollar in his barbara regard now apc is now the apc chairman he even mentioned yesterday that if uh, the M M MPP guys like let them go to Supreme Court, that they're just wasting their time. I'm telling you. So I just want to tell you now that Tinibu has captured the judiciary. And why Tinibu captured the judiciary is because many Nigerians have zero integrity. I'm telling you, most of these our father said, most of them are criminally minded. It's not even an issue of joke. And these are people that will still come and tell you about respect because most of the people. That the senior advocate of Nigeria, most of them are old people. They want respect, but they are criminals in nature. We know many of them. You understand what I'm saying? We know many of them in all walks of life, from Fashola to uh, Rochas to uh, people in the north. They are criminal elements in the north. By the way, Zamfara election now, they say they should rerun it. APC came second. Now they are saying they, they should rerun, and I'm telling you, they will do another magic again. You understand? So the criminality is no end in sight. You know, Tinibu has successfully captured Nigeria. There's no need of election at this point. You cannot win against this man. He will just write his, they will just write his Look at what happened in Kogi and Imo State. They were writing results. They were bringing already prepared results. So how do you win against this man? It's only through revolution, no? That same protest he was protesting against Apache at that time, that's what they would do to him until he's removed or unless God calls him. At this a moment in time, Tinibu has successfully captured, you know what they call state capture, he has captured every ingredient, every nook and crannies, if you like, even if you win the election, you will go to, as Abia governor is now, Tinibu can remove him, I'm telling you, the judiciary, all the law, all the system, they just turn everything upside down, judging all the cases, everybody, even a blind man knows that, NMPP, one Kano. You understand what I'm saying? The judgment they gave there was even different from what they were saying. That the guy was in PDP first. I be what were they saying before? You know, so he was he contested as N N PDP first before he became an NPP member. They would just turn the whole thing, the whole case upside down. So if you're expecting justice in this uh, tenable system, you're just wasting your time. Our advice would be: there's no need of contesting. In fact, let them just allow APC to be contesting. You understand? Because if you contest, unless they, unless they will agree that they will have an agreement that there will be no rigging. You know, all the um, stakeholders in Nigeria will come together and say no rigging. If not, they, just, they will, will rig it and tell you to go to court. 
when you go to court, they will just um, um, do this their charade. You understand what I'm saying? I would just advise would be to be preaching about people should not. And now I said, let's see what I'm the kind of used to say. It's now I, I do even though I'm not an avid follower. Now I still see what he's saying. Elections is just a waste of time in Nigeria. They just write the thing. Look at Mahmoud. This Mahmoud not somebody father, dying in chairman. Tomorrow now Mahmoud will say you should respect him. Criminals. Anyway, what do you make of this state's capture? What's the way forward? It's revolution. Nigeria, look at what Nigeria needs. Revolution. Then we should go regional. You understand? Let every region um, 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 compete with each other. Not the whole Nigeria will be bad. Everything. Let's share the money into six. You understand? The debt, everybody will pay it equally. Then um, I know some people from other regions told me, but let everybody pay it equally. The industrial tax belongs to the region. That industrial tax will bring uh, competition. Everybody will want industries in this region. You know, you will go and source how industries will come to your region. Whether you want foreign investment, you'll be attracted for investment on your own. You don't need federal government to come and attract foreign investment for you. What federal government will do is the resources, the natural crude oil, gold, and everything. They will harmonize it. The gold industry, I wonder what Tinibu is wasting time for. He's a criminal now. He should harmonize the gold industry. Set it up to one or two industries or three industries. Let them compete with modern industry, with factories and everything. Let it be organized so that the gold is more modern. This one they're doing, they're wasting of time. That gold can get Nigeria a lot of money. South Africa, what resources do they have? Gold and solid minerals. They should harmonize it into one or two industries. Let only one or two industries be mining it so that the revenue goes directly into a particular problem. Bring in the agricultural machine, bring in Chinese to train our people. You understand? But Nigeria needs to, I've told you the steps you need. So, Tinibu has successfully captured Nigeria there's, and there's nothing you can do about it except God. You know, God always stopped them. Now, when Abacha was busy, it would be Apple. It's Apple that finished Abacha now. Or Revolution. If not, you're wasting your time. Let me know what you think about this whole thing.